Okay, so we're back in Canvas and we're on our dashboard. Um, and we're going to go ahead into our course. Um, let's say that we've looked, you know, this is our course here. We have in our home, notice that we have um, our home page usually defaults to the modules page. So notice that home and modules right now is the same if, you're, if your instructor or the course designer hasn't changed it. Um, and then in assignments basically is a different listing of assignments, right? Let's say that we looked at our calendar and saw that we had an upcoming assignment. Okay, so we you might want to interact with your calendar. We can go ahead and click onto that calendar option, right? And it gives us a uh, an introduction to the assignment. We can also go ahead and click on this title here and actually link directly to the assignment. So there is the assignment that we're going to be looking at. Okay, um, so we can get it kind of three different ways there. We can go to calendar, we can go from home, which is the modules page into assignment. We can go to assignments into the assignment. We can go to modules into the assignment. So there are multiple ways to get here. But this is what an assignment's going to look like. So, so basically we have our title, we have a submit assignment, and then we have the instructions for the assignment, whatever that might be. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and turn this in and take a look at the grading of an assignment. So we're gonna go ahead and, and, and basically what this is saying telling us to do is that we're gonna be turning in a URL for a Google Doc, just a sample. So we're gonna go go to our Google Doc, we're gonna get our, um, our, uh, um, our shareable link, shareable link. Okay, it's been copied to the clipboard already. Okay, now I have, now, um, sorry, there's a whole uh, lesson on how to turn this stuff in. So we're really just looking at the grading. So I'm in this assignment. Let's go ahead and submit the assignment. I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste in the, the URL, then click Submit Assignment. I can, can also add comments. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and submit assignment. Notice that's submitting. And then this is what we're looking for, submitted and then the date here. And then we can go to Submission Details. Um, we can also resubmit an assignment. Please be aware that if you're that if you're turning in, say you're turning in multiple files, you have to turn them in all at once before clicking the submit assignment, so that we'd be adding files, and, and we go through that in a later video. But um, but just be aware of that that each time you resubmit an assignment, it knocks out the original the assignment that was already there. So say you upload five files, you wouldn't submit assignment five times; you would add five files, then submit assignment. Okay. Um, so we turn it in. Now we're waiting it for it to be graded. Okay, so wouldn't you know it? Uh, now it's been graded. So basically, we had submitted before, and now we see grade. It was 100 out of a possible 100 points. Uh, was it was graded anonymously. No, it was not graded anonymously. Um, that wasn't turned on. And then finally, amazing work. That was the comment from your instructor. Congratulations. All right, so, so there is how we can look at a particular assignment that's been graded. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at our grades. So let's click on grades. Notice that we have a one here showing that something's been graded. Click on grades and now you'll see that we in our grade book we have our assignment, we have a score and then out of. We also have our cumulative, um, um, cumulative um, score. Um, this grade book can get kind of confusing. I'm just going to be honest with you. So, so basically the, um, the uh, it shows every single assignment in the course. So, so basically, when you come in here, whether the assignment's been uh, you know um, uh, published or not, uh, whether it's available or not, whether it has a due date or not, every last thing is listed here, and every last um, category assignment category is also listed here. So, so it can get very confusing. Um, my opinion: arrange it by due date. Okay. Um, so if your instructor is not super organized and has tons and tons of stuff in here, it won't get too confusing. Uh, you can also um, switch courses, right? So you have more than one course, so you can switch courses. You can also uh, view it by module if that's if that's easier for you. Say there's lots of different you know assignments and different modules that you want to check on, uh, something like that. But um, but whatever works best for you. My opinion: keep it on due date uh, just to start out with. You can also print your grades, and you can also show details here. So uh, notice that if I want to see the um, comments, I can click Show Details and, and when the when the assignment was graded. Okay, so that that is a, a summary of how to go in assignments, turn them in, and view your grades. Uh, best of luck.